SBR recommends Betfair with a rating of A-. Click on their logo to find out why. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. Joining us now is Richard O'Hagan, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR Forum to discuss the betting value for the individual World Cup teams. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's great to be with you. Croatia makes their fourth appearance in the World Cup Finals. Their best outing at this stage saw them finish third overall after a controversial semi-final. Now, before we analyse their current odds, tell us more about what transpired during that semi-final. Well, Natalie, this was back in 1998 in France. They were playing France in the semi-final and the Croatian captain and the French captain were marking each other at the corner. Slaven Bilic, the Croatian captain, basically pretended he'd been headbutted by Laurent Blanc, the French captain. Laurent Blanc was sent off, ended up missing the final, and Slaven Bilic basically got away scot-free with a bit of play acting that he probably wouldn't manage nowadays because there are so many cameras around the pitch. But it, it's one of the more disgraceful things to have happened in the World Cup finals in recent years. And so people are going to be watching the Croatians closely this time to make sure they're behaving themselves. Group A is up for the taking with Brazil aside, of course. 888.com has them around 1.9, not to make it out of the group. Now, what are your thoughts here? Well, Natalie, the real issue here is that Croatia are probably not going to beat Brazil. Then they come up against Mexico and Cameroon. Neither Mexico nor Cameroon are as good as the current Croatian side. So if they play up to form, they should make it out the group. In which case, those odds are not terribly generous on them not making it out the group. So I would not be inclined to back them at that price. Instead, I'd be inclined to take what's probably a longer price on them actually making it through qualification here. OK. And where do you most likely see Croatia exiting in this, uh, in this competition? Oh, but almost definitely the second round. I mean, the, the, the prize for coming second to Brazil in Group A is being knocked out by either Spain or the Dutch in the second round, because those are the two teams that are going to walk it, their way out of Group B. So I think no further than the second round for Croatia. Gets you around about 3, 3.25, so it's not a bad price, but that's the limit of what they can expect to achieve this time around. They're certainly not going to finish third. OK, but what's the best way of maximising on a profit on Croatia? Well. One of the best things you can do actually is to look at the top goal scorer market because they have got four really good strikers and although Manzaric is suspended for the opening game after being sent off in the last qualifying match, you've still got Eduardo, you've got Ilic and you've got Jelovic. I like the price on Eduardo, he's about sevens at the moment to be their top goal scorer and I can easily see him being the one because he's not the guy that is known as a prolific goal scorer amongst the, the as being the guy who puts in a lot of goals in this tournament. OK, so if you want to make money on Croatia, look at the top goal scorer market. That wraps things up for our Team Croatia preview. Richard, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome, Natalie.